Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Ephesians 4.29 Hey girl, hey! Welcome to my channel. I am Sky Andrene. If you are new here and welcome back to all my loyal homegirls, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And yeah, it do this makeup look. Let me take the glasses so you can see. I did do this makeup look while we, you know, talk about these things that keep us in our masculine. Okay? So, yeah. Let's 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 just jump right into the video. Y'all know I can't do my brows and talk, so <laughs> went on ahead and did them. And I'm going to start with my face today. But let's jump right into these traits that keep us in our masculine. Because I think we need to all hold ourselves accountable and actually evaluate ourselves like, Look at the woman in the mirror and be like, girl, is this how a feminine woman acts based on the behaviors you show? And the first one I want to talk about is being aggressive. I've talked about this in previous videos, how a feminine woman is soft and we are just, just loving and we are really a light. And when you're aggressive... That means you're cussing people out. That means you don't really know how to talk to people. And you might not even be trying to intentionally hurt someone's feelings or trying to come off that way. But the way you speak, it kind of just gives like, I don't care. <laughs> and we do care. If you're a Christian, especially if you're a Christian, we're supposed to love each other. So we need to show that in our speech and the way we act in the way we interact with each other. And if you're someone who typically, you know, is loud all the time, who uses aggressive language, who just seems kind of intimidating, then, babe, you need to work on those things work on your speech learn learn a new vocabulary learn <laughs> how to like pay attention to your tone and the inflection of your voice because things a lot of things can be misinterpreted depending on how you say things and me personally I know I'm big on tone so if somebody's tone is slightly slight in the slightest bit, bit off I'm like do we have a problem it's mostly with Devontae, like, <laughs> if he has more of a nonchalant tone. But if anybody has a tone that I just do not agree with and it's a little too much for me, I'm like, what's what's the issue? What, where, what did I miss? Where's the disconnect? Because <laughs> I thought we were just having a conversation. So really pay attention to that because we're supposed to be soft and approachable and non-confrontational you have to learn how to communicate your issues learn how to really feel your feelings not just going all like not just how am I trying to work this not just um going off of the first emotion you have learn to feel your feelings so you don't come off aggressive you don't come off as if you don't care because you do care. You're a Christian woman. You're a feminine woman. You care. <laughs> I think what goes hand in hand with aggression is being competitive. Women, we are more in like more of a community type of energy. <laughs> like that's, if you ever notice, women are the ones who typically have the friend groups or just have friends or people they can talk to and just and stuff like that. So we're really made for a community. We're made to help, which is why God made us the help mate. And I don't think that's just necessarily just in a marriage, but in as a whole, like when you look at the different roles in church, a lot of ushers who help out during service are women. You have a motherboard, uh, the nurses, like those are typically women filled positions. So as a feminine woman, as a woman of God, if you're always competing, even especially like with friends, it kind of shows that 
you lack a little confidence. <laughs> you should be competing with other women at all. Now there's now there's a difference if you work in a field where yes, you have to compete. There's a difference between being in your masculine when you have to be versus when just your natural state of being. We as a natural state of being are supposed to be in our feminine. Of course, we have a balance of masculine and feminine, but the feminine should outweigh the masculine. So you should know how to turn it on and off. Now, if you have a job where friendly competition, where you have to reach certain goals or things like that, of course, that masculine side needs to take over so you can be competitive. But when it comes to competing with other women or competing with other people just because you want to be better or you think you can do better, that shows a lack of confidence because you're not confident in what you do, that you have to prove that you're better at something. As a feminine woman, you should be rooting for everybody. <laughs> and it could be friendly competition, but if you're always the one who has to show off your accolades when someone else is talking about theirs, if you have to bring up something about you when somebody is talking about some of their, talking about them, like, it's, it's not a competition. <laughs> we are all living the same life, essentially not going through the same struggles, obviously, but we're all living the same life. As brothers and sisters in Christ, we're all experiencing the same things. We all have goals and your goals are no better or more important than the next. And your goals don't, ma don't matter, essentially, when someone is talking about their goals. Now, if you're trying to help the person, like, okay, if y'all are in the same field, you can say, okay, well, this is what I did. If they're coming in, yes, I obviously help them, but don't make it a competition. <laughs> don't try to outdress people. I've been saying this thing on social media. And I mean, I didn't actually, not that I'm saying don't outdress. I, I'm, what I'm saying is don't try to um, look at the other person as they they outdressed you that's the best way i can say it because let me give an example like i've been seeing a lot on social media about um friends going out for their birthday and the birthday person is mad because they think their friend tried to outdress them one i don't think i don't really think that's a thing like because why are you it's, it's your birthday so it really doesn't matter how this person dressed now if they like walked out in the g-string and pasties what are you doing <laughs> But, oops, I just kicked the thing. <laughs> but if they just put themselves together, why are you looking at them as in, as if they try to show you up? It's not a competition. Maybe they just wanted to, maybe they just had this outfit in mind and they just wanted to finally wear it. Maybe they just want to look presentable as your friend. Like, <laughs> let's stop competing because we are like community focused community we should be community driven community focused especially considering how society views women and try to put us against each other anyway we shouldn't be trying to we shouldn't fall into that and compete for no reason what are we competing for <laughs> another thing i want to talk about is being hustle focused now don't take this out of context and saying that you can't work and work on your goals and all of that but if you cannot receive because you're so because you're always doing 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 that you only want to do for yourself and you only feel like that's what you should be doing or you don't rest which this is something i'm trying to really work on myself is resting my mind more like i'm gonna take a nap but my mind won't rest. I'm always thinking of my next YouTube video. I'm always thinking about content for my hair page. I'm always thinking I'm always thinking about what's next. But one thing I don't do is like I've learned I have learned to receive. But most women who are always doing and always trying to either get to the bag or always trying to get this done, do that done, have all these things on their plate. You don't have time to stop and just exist <laughs> you don't have time to allow other people to do for you 
we are not supposed to do everything all the time. And because, like I said, we're community focused, your friends can do stuff for you. If you're so worried about looking weak or looking like you can't handle it because you've built this, your whole lifestyle around being self-sufficient and only doing for yourself and just hustling, hustling, having all these things on your plate, you're not going to be open and you're going to block your own blessings because you won't even just sit and allow God to allow others to bless you. And stuff like that can lead to burnout. I have not picked this a mirror up yet, so I don't know how this makeup is coming out. But yeah, it can lead to burnout. <laughs> and then you won't be doing anything, not even for yourself, which then you will lack on your self-care. And you won't be able to really function because you're going to be so worried about when when you're doing this or how you're going to get this done or who's going to how are you going to take care of this and that it's just you, your your mind and your body will crack <laughs> and i know this because that was that was me i want to do something cute and girly on the eyes so let me actually i think i'm gonna do something like pink and shimmery so we're gonna do i am gonna be and obviously i'm gonna use my Amrezi palette because it's pink and glittery pink is my favorite color if you don't know now you know um so yeah let's let's see what we're about to do with these eyes the next thing is being too closed off if you're closed off, that means you're not approachable. Much like when you're an aggressive person, people will not want to deal with you and approach you. Now, close, of course, somebody you have to be aggressive to somebody for them to realize and know that and feel that you're unapproachable. But being closed off, as in you don't talk to people, you don't <laughs> you don't work the room, you look like don't bother me. <laughs> All of those things make you unapproachable. It, that's more of a body language thing. Now, I'm not saying you have to be the loudest in the room. Absolutely not. That's actually the opposite of what you, what you should be. You should walk in a room and take, capture, like, take, like, just grab everyone's attention because of who you are just by your essence without even speaking. But you also need to not just sit in a corner with your head tucked in. Because you, I don't know, are afraid. That also makes you look like you lack confidence when you're closed off. And it might not even be the case. You could be very much a, a fun person or a cool person. But nobody knows that because you don't, you, you choose to, your body language shows otherwise. Your body language shows, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with y'all, leave me alone. <laughs> So being closed off, learning how to be more open, because again, we are we are supposed to be community driven people. As Christians and as feminine women, we need community. That's how we thrive because we have we all have this energy, this loving, this open, this soft energy that gravitates and feeds off each other. That means that's why when feminine women come together unstoppable but if you closed off you won't even understand or know how to, or even experience that because you people don't even want to approach you have you ever seen somebody and they just and they look like they're stuck up and you don't want to talk that's how i used to be not smiling like my best friend lexi she used to be like you should smile you need to smile people don't know how uh, how much of a good person or a cool person you are because you just look like don't talk to me <laughs> and essentially that is how i felt i will i used to feel like i don't want to know i don't want anyone to talk to me if you know who i you know my personality those who know my personality know it and that is what it is like i i don't care <laughs> i don't need no new friends that's how i used to be but I had to realize that that doesn't help society. That doesn't help the kingdom of heaven. That doesn't help if I'm closed off knowing I have all this personality to give. I have all this light to give, like this wisdom, this positive energy to give. I have it. But nobody knew that unless I was the one who talked to them. Nobody would 
want to approach me because I, I literally look like leave me alone and I always would get once people finally get to know me like oh when I first saw you I thought you weren't gonna be mean so if you've ever gotten com a comment like that that means you're too closed off and you need to work on that <laughs> this is coming out okay I haven't done like a for real eyeshadow look in a while because I've been used to doing just my signature but I just feel like and if you have not watched my video on signature makeup and well signature style make sure you definitely go back and watch that because it really helps you learn how to always look your best and explains how it helps you always to look your best but anyway I typically always do my signature signature makeup and I forget like this is a gift from God and but that is the base of that. I'm going to I'm do the other, my other eye, then come back with, <laughs> then come back. <laughs> okay, here we are. <laughs> I'm going to use this mirror because I want to actually do, get something close. I hope this comes out the way I imagine it in my head. But, yeah. But yeah, as I was saying, if you get comments like, oh, I thought you were mean or when I first, I thought you were mean when I first saw you or you look like you were stuck up and all of that, that means you're not approachable and you should probably work on that because that could be the furthest thing from the truth like it was for me. Like, <laughs> that is so not true about me, but... The way I like carried myself in public and the way I was so closed off and just my, about my body language and people didn't know that. People thought that I was mean, that I was probably stuck up. Like, uh, and Lex would say that I was a runner, I was a track star because you know how a lot of people they say after a little in college, sometimes you, you know, talking to your friends on your way out. Where's my brush? on your way out from class maybe as soon as class I started packing up two minutes a minute to two minutes before class was over so I can get out of there because I didn't want anybody to talk to me so that's that's really how it was that's why I can speak from experience on this in school because we had a bus stop on campus um and I will be at the bus stop it will be just me and one other person and they, they're clearly lost, but because I was closed off, I didn't offer any help. And because, be also because I was closed off, they didn't ask me. It would be when another person walked up, they would be, they would ask that person for help or when the next bus would come in. I would just be okay with it. Of course, I was like, why didn't they just ask me? But duh, girl, you sitting here with RBF, no one's want, no one's want, no one wants to talk to you. <laughs> I like this. This is, this is cute. But, you know, don't be closed off. <laughs> Learn how to be aware of your face, if that makes sense. Learn how to um, how to fix your RBF. If you have to stand and practice smiling in the mirror, do that. Because, obviously, you're a beautiful woman. You're watching. <laughs> you're watching my channel. <laughs> So I know you are, but, um, yes, practice, practice your facial expressions, practice looking more warm, practice looking more open because no one's going to want to talk to you or be around you. If you have RBF and your body language is off putting. And again, that one is coming from experience. <laughs> and because your first impression is your lasting one. And your first impression means a lot. You could, again, be blocking blessings because you're so closed off. And people don't, don't want to say anything to you. I wish I had my brown eyeliner because that would have made this look really... Ooh, I tried to... <laughs> it did not happen. <laughs> Let me run it back. I wanted... Th that brown liner would have made this look... Okay, but I don't have brown liner right now, and I have not gone to Ulta, so 
It's gonna have to be black liner, which that's okay. Another trait that keeps you in your masculine energy that you really do not realize is being pessimistic, okay? We are supposed to see the beauty in life because one, we are the beauty in life. One, we're beautiful. Two, we're Christians. And three, we're feminine. <laughs> we are the beauty in life. So we should look at things from that, that gaze. Like if you're always seeing the negative in things, girl, come, <laughs> reevaluate why you see that. Maybe you have some trauma. Maybe, you know, you're just, I don't know, but that's something you should probably work on. And that's not to say that you don't, you're not realistic with outcomes and like weighing the pros and cons. Obviously, when it comes to doing certain things, you need to weigh the pros and cons about them. But if everything is a, is negative, every situation, you don't, you never are positive and you never expect the best outcome. There's something wrong. And again, this is something I can speak to from experience. I used to always just assume the worst, hope for the best, which that's not a good way of looking at things because my whole idea was, well, if I expect something bad to happen and it actually turns out good, then there's no harm. But the harm was my mental. The harm was I'm not doing things the best to my ability subconsciously because I've already put in my brain that it may not work out or I might not pass the test or I might not whatever. My mental has made me self-consciously not put my best foot forward. And our mind and the way we speak really have the ability to affect the trajectory of things. That's why God says like, there is power in the tongue of life and death, and we need to speak things. We have we need to speak the word. We need to speak positivity. We need to think positive thoughts because it really affects us. It's just like when you tell yourself, when you start, when you speak negative about yourself all the time, you, eventually you will start to feel and believe those things are true about yourself. So when it comes to anything in life, we need to you need to see the beauty in all things. All of our situations are not going to be perfect. I'm not saying always be happy. I'm not saying always, I mean, I'm not saying be delusional, but don't focus on negativity. Don't think that things might not work out for you in the best. Like having, I think I said this in one of my other videos, having all the what ifs except what if it works out? What if this changes my life? What if this is exactly what I'm supposed to do? So... <laughs> You need to look at yourself and, and, again, find the root to why you always think negative. Because, like I said, we are the light. Oh, I usually don't wear pink blush. This is really pretty. I'm going to do my lip because clearly I can't talk and do my lip. But let me, let me spray my face first. Now I change my shirt like a YouTuber. <laughs> but no, being competitive, being aggressive, being hustle focused, being closed off, and just being pessimistic. If you have any of these traits or qualities, you need to take a long look in the mirror and think about which ones you have because... <laughs> That's what's keeping you in your masculine. That's what's making your masculine energy show more than your feminine energy. And obviously, if you're here watching this video, that means you are trying to nurture your femininity. And I love that for you, babe, because that's what I've been doing for the past two years. And I am so different. And I just know that you will look up and have worked on all these things. And you become, will become the woman God destined you to be. And just blossom into this beautiful feminine woman. Because one, you already got the beauty. Like I said, you're watching my channel. <laughs> if there is something on this list that I did not mention, join the conversation. Let's help each other out. Because like I said, we are a community. And we need to help each other grow, evolve, and all of those good things. <laughs> so, yeah. And But... 
Thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already and you've been watching these videos. So, girl, you're my homegirl now. <laughs> uh, thank you, and I will see you in my next video.